Apples 10 Evidence Base Health Benefits of Apples Apples are one of the most popular fruits, which are an exceptionally healthy fruit with many research-backed benefits. Here are 10 impressive health benefits of apples. Apples are nutritious. A medium apple, with a diameter of about 3 inches 7.6 centimeters, equals 1.5 cups of fruit. Two cups of fruit daily are recommended on a 2,000 calorie diet. One medium apple, 6.4 ounces or 182 grams, offers the following nutrients. Calories, 95 carbs, 25 grams fiber, 4 grams potassium, 6% of the RDI vitamin C, 14% of road vitamin K, 5% of the road. What's more, the same serving provides 2-4% of the RDI for manganese, copper, and the vitamins A, E, B1, B2, and B6. Apples are also a rich source of polyphenols. While nutrition labels don't list these plant compounds, they're likely responsible for many of the health benefits. To get the most out of apples, leave the skin on, it contains half of the fiber and many of the polyphenols. Summary, apples are a good source of fiber and vitamin C. They also contain polyphenols, which may have numerous health benefits. Apples may be good for weight loss. Apples are high in fiber and water, two qualities that make them filling. In one study, people who ate apple slices before a meal felt fuller than those who consumed apple sauce, apple juice, or no apple products. In the same study, those who started their meal with apple slices also ate an average of 200 fewer calories than those who didn't. In another 10-week study in 50 overweight women, participants who ate apples lost an average of 2 pounds 1 kilogram and ate fewer calories overall, compared to those who ate oat cookies with a similar calorie and fiber content. Researchers think that apples are more filling because they're less energy-dense, yet still deliver fiber and volume. Furthermore, some natural compounds in them may promote weight loss. A study in obese mice found that those given a supplement of ground apples and apple juice concentrate lost more weight and had lower levels of bad LDL cholesterol, triglycerides, and total cholesterol than the control group. Summary, apples may aid weight loss in several ways. They're also particularly filling due to their high fiber content. Apples may be good for your heart. Apples have been linked to a lower risk of heart disease. One reason may be that apples contain soluble fiber, the kind that can help lower your blood cholesterol levels. They also contain polyphenols, which have antioxidant effects. Many of these are concentrated in the peel. One of these polyphenols is the flavonoid epicatechine, which may lower blood pressure. An analysis of studies found that high intakes of flavonoids were linked to a 20% lower risk of stroke. Flavonoids can help prevent heart disease by lowering blood pressure, reducing bad LDL oxidation, and acting as antioxidants. Another study comparing the effects of eating an apple a day to taking statins, a class of drugs known to lower cholesterol, concluded that apples would be almost as effective at reducing death from heart disease as the drugs. However, since this was not a controlled trial, findings must be taken with a grain of salt. Another study linked consuming white-fleshed fruits and vegetables, such as apples and pears, to a reduced risk of stroke. For every 25 grams, about one-fifth cup of apple slices, consumed, the risk of stroke decreased by 9%. Summary, apples promote heart health in several ways. They're high in soluble fiber, which helps lower cholesterol. They also have polyphenols, which are linked to lower blood pressure and stroke risk. They're linked to a lower risk of diabetes. Several studies have linked eating apples to a lower risk of type 2 diabetes. In one large study, eating an apple a day was linked to a 28% lower risk of type 2 diabetes, compared to not eating any apples. 
even eating just a few apples per week had a similarly protective effect. It's possible that the polyphenols in apples help prevent tissue damage to beta cells in your pancreas. Beta cells produce insulin in your body and are often damaged in people with type 2 diabetes. Summary, eating apples is linked to a lower risk of type 2 diabetes. This is possibly due to their polyphenol antioxidant content. They may have prebiotic effects and promote good gut bacteria. Apples contain pectin, a type of fiber that acts as a prebiotic. This means it feeds the good bacteria in your gut. Your small intestine doesn't absorb fiber during digestion. Instead, it goes to your colon, where it can promote the growth of good bacteria. It also turns into other helpful compounds that circulate back through your body. New research suggests that this may be the reason behind some of the protective effects of apples against obesity, type 2 diabetes, and heart disease. Summary, the type of fiber in apples feeds good bacteria and may be the reason they protect against obesity, heart disease, and type 2 diabetes. Substances in apples may help prevent cancer. Test tube studies have shown a link between plant compounds in apples and a lower risk of cancer. Additionally, one study in women reported that eating apples was linked to lower rates of death from cancer. Scientists believe that their antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects may be responsible for their potential cancer preventive effects. Summary, apples have several naturally occurring compounds that may help fight cancer. Observational studies have linked them to a lower risk of cancer and death from cancer. Apples contain compounds that can help fight asthma. Antioxidant-rich apples may help protect your lungs from oxidative damage. A large study in more than 68,000 women found that those who ate the most apples had the lowest risk of asthma. Eating about 15% of a large apple per day was linked to a 10% lower risk of this condition. Apple skin contains the flavonoid quercetin, which can help regulate the immune system and reduce inflammation. These are two ways in which it may affect asthma and allergic reactions. Summary, apples contain antioxidant and anti-inflammatory compounds that may help regulate immune responses and protect against asthma. Apples may be good for bone health. Eating fruit is linked to higher bone density, which is a marker of bone health. Researchers believe that the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory compounds in fruit may help promote bone density and strength. Some studies show that apples, specifically, may positively affect bone health. In one study, women ate a meal that either included fresh apples, peeled apples, apple sauce, or no apple products. Those who ate apples lost less calcium from their bodies than the control group. Summary, the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory compounds in apples may promote bone health. What's more, eating fruit may help preserve bone mass as you age. Apples may protect against stomach injury. The class of painkillers known as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs NSAIDs, can injure the lining of your stomach. A study in test tubes and rats found that freeze-dried apple extract helped protect stomach cells from injury due to NSAIDs. Two plant compounds in apples, chlorogenic acid and catechine, are thought to be particularly helpful. However, research in humans is needed to confirm these results. Summary, apples contain compounds that may help protect your stomach lining from injury due to NSAID painkillers. Apples may help protect your brain. Most research focuses on apple peel and flesh. However, apple juice may have benefits for age-related mental decline. In animal studies, juice concentrate reduced harmful reactive oxygen species ROS, in brain tissue and minimized mental decline. Apple juice may help preserve acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter that can decline with age. Low levels of acetylcholine are linked to Alzheimer's disease. 
Similarly, researchers who fed elderly rats whole apples found that a marker of the rat's memory was restored to the level of younger rats. That said, whole apples contain the same compounds as apple juice, and it is always a healthier choice to eat your fruit whole. Summary, according to animal studies, apple juice may help prevent the decline of neurotransmitters that are involved in memory. Conclusion Apples are incredibly good for you, and eating them is linked to a lower risk of many major diseases, including diabetes and cancer. What's more, its soluble fiber content may promote weight loss and gut health. A medium apple equals 1.5 cups of fruit, which is three quarters of the two cup daily recommendation for fruit. For the greatest benefits, eat the whole fruit, both skin and flesh.